Hello, this is Ali from SafeNet Health Technical Support. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, Busy Studio API implementation. Uh, the sample that I'm talking about can be found uh, under uh, hasp.com slash SRM, which is uh, the page that I'm looking at. And over here, we have the developer solution directory uh, in which there are several samples and other information, but mostly samples. And over here, under the samples of uh, uh, Business Studio Server API, uh, we see this sample, BSS API SL sample, that this is the one I'm talking about. So let's go there, um, opening uh, Visual Studio, and I can see here the sample. Now, the target of this sample is uh, to create a product key. Uh, which will then will be used later on in order to activate an SL key. Okay, so all, all the sample is how to use the Business Studio API in order to uh, generate a product key for SL activation. This is the sample. Uh, but uh, obviously, uh, Business Studio API are limited in, uh, in, in the meaning of uh, of not being able to have a provisional license uh, creation, for instance, not being able to uh, create products uh, using the business today, etc. So, all this kind of uh, there are several prerequisites that needs to be done manually before uh, working with this sample, before uh, running this sample in order to uh, have it uh, uh, working fine. And uh, the one pre prerequisite is. Uh, to create a base product uh, with this name. Uh, and then also what is important is uh, that I will use a specified order time in the Business Studio application, which, uh, which means that only when I create an order, then I will be able to define what are the parameters that I want to use. And using the Business Studio, we will see how to work with it. Uh, it is called free parameters in the Business Studio API. How, how I set the parameters of the specified all the time, it is, it is called free parameters, and we will see it. Uh, next uh, prerequisite is to create a provisional product um, and then um, create a C2V for the provisional license. Now, working with the Business Studio, as usual, I put under the reference the Hus Business Studio server uh, DLL, which is uh, the reference, uh, and also I add the system web services. Obviously, I add the namespace of Aladdin has BSS over here, um, and then also uh, I'm sure that you know we have to copy uh, files uh, from CProgo files, uh, SafeNet uh, Business Server Bin, into uh, into your application. Um, let me show you. Uh, if I open it uh, over here and go to the bin uh, debug, I can see here that there are several files that were copied uh, from uh, from our uh, Business Studio API sample or from uh, or from our uh, API uh, in order to be able to work with it. But this is normal. Uh, what I want to concentrate now is. Uh, uh, what I'm doing here, uh, very simple, uh, but uh, it is very beneficial to just look at one sample to understand better how you should uh, do it yourself. Uh, so what I do now um, is uh, first I initialize uh, using the Hasp, Hasp localhost 443 port as usual, and then I look for uh, the batch of uh, Demo MA, which is the one that I am looking for uh, to use because it is a demonstration. So I just uh, keep on going uh, for the list of all the batches until I find my batch code. And here is, uh, is something which is important. I ask to get products. And by getting products, I get obviously a list of all the products that are available for this uh, batch code. And then I'm looking for all the for all the lists in order to find out uh, the product with the name SL3 parameters. This is the name that I defined it, uh, but obviously someone can change it. 
and then uh, look here uh, I'm, I'm creating a new order now it's very similar to the way we do it in the business studio application we can create a new order for either updating a connected uh, hasp key or we can uh, have an order uh, to uh, update license but finally we can also uh, add an order in, or in order to um, uh, create a product key for SL activation so this is the one and you can see here that I have a new order and uh, what is important here is that the order type would uh, be product keys which is uh, creating a product key um, not uh, so very many things important for this because it's similar to everything else but here it's the f it's uh, an example how to use the free parameter so again the free parameter is uh, the way we use the business studio API in order to set parameters for uh, these places which were defined as set at order time uh, so what I do here um, is um, first of all uh, I add uh, the product to uh, this order no this is uh, still not uh, the SL parameters but here I get the list of uh, uh, free parameters uh, the API method I'm using is get all the free parameters and by doing so I uh, get a list of all the free parameters that I have and then I go uh, with the loop for all uh, the para free parameters and I'm looking for if uh, if uh, the free parameter is, is date so then I uh, first update that it is, it is filled now and fill the value which I'm, I'm going to use for this uh, free parameter and then if the type of the free parameter is concurrent how many concurrent, concurrent instances then first I uh, update that yes this, uh, this uh, parameter is going to be filled up and fill up uh, the value that I would like to use. Thank you for watching.